be a globetrotter. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time it's the Thrifty Chef in Toronto on Donlands Avenue. There's a easy to park outside if you're interested in that part of it, but there's the um, a nice selection that he seems to put out in nice weather. And that is a fake cat, just so you know. Here we see he's got Already we've seen three globes, one in the intro, and then there's two more there, and there's more to see. That's his hours. Sundays are a bit shorter. Tuesdays it's closed. Um, just about anything you could possibly imagine, they've got something from that stuff different kinds of stools, clothes, clothing pieces, until you've actually been there you can hardly believe what he's got. It's, it's wild. Here's a nice collection of globes. You don't often see them in all these colors. And there, there's probably more to be seen. An eclectic collection is an understatement. He's got ephemera, he's got furniture, he's got clothing. Yes, the globes. Uh, books, jewelry. Um, that's a collection of for example, there's a couple of travel clocks there. Some, there's some jewelry. It is something to behold. It's well worth the trip and you'll truly enjoy the visit to this place. But there's all kinds of things to see. Here's some of those little figurines from the Red Rose Tea. He's grouped them up in there, but there's more even below. He's got baskets of them. He also t takes some of the things that he has. Some of them maybe may have been broken, or and, but he will repurpose stuff. Here's a a globe with red water and silver for the land. He has some uh, attestation letters for some of his um, pieces of ephemera. Some, some interesting, very different items. There's a collection of various birds. I think they're mostly ducks, but I won't commit to that. How often do you find a Belikin, the beer of Belize? It's not a large country to start with, and to get a sign from there, pretty good. Here's a, a small, very old pinball machine of, of its era. Not the same kind that we have now, but it, the action is very similar in many cases. Musical instruments. You see a drum kit, or at least parts of it. Then you have the ceramics, you have the glassware, the, you have the, uh, probably even some, yes, some Pyrex.
I don't always remember all the details as, as, as I'm recording these voiceovers, but pretty good. Even Queen Elizabeth shows up in her youth. So here we are. We're just continuing on through. This is on this is still on the main floor just as you enter. There's two aisles that you go in. You have to skinny through parts of it. There's the books and ephemera area. And uh, we, we, we were trying to really look carefully at some of this stuff. It's, it's, there's so many things your eye can catch onto. It's wild. No, they didn't happen to have any Hawaiian shirts at this, on this visit, but it's nothing to say they won't at some other point. And there's part of a drum kit. Back to these globes. Yes, I did more than once go around because there's just so much. It's, a, it's, it's incredible how much stuff he's got packed into here and it's all for sale there's nothing held back all right so he invited me to go downstairs as well but before I got downstairs there's the back entryway where he's got things that either are too big or what you might consider as projects that he's working on or about to work on and he has a small area that he works on right between the back door and the, and the main part of the store. Here we are. Some of the stuff is in a glass case. I don't remember if they were locked or not. It really doesn't matter. He's always around. Some of the things I think had to do with the movie theater that was whether it's still there or not is a question that I can't answer, but it, you, there certainly was a movie theater along the same block at one time. So some of it may be connected to that. All kinds of uh, little statuary. And here we are, we're heading downstairs. He invited me down. I didn't know there was even a downstairs to consider looking into. He's got some more collectible pieces of clothing. They're, some of them are sports jerseys, some of them are uh, other kind of outfits. This is a lot, a lot more of a jumble, so you're, you're not looking at a showroom situation, you're looking at a, at a collection from which you can pick and choose. from dressers and coffee tables and chairs and lamps and some miniature dioramas. Here we go. How often do you find one of those horses from a merry-go-round? Now it may not have been from a real merry-go-round. Then he had some sports equipment those look like they're kind of like from lacrosse plus the hockey sticks and golf clubs uh, a nice old chair that would work for somebody probably and here's the horse like I said I don't think it came off a carousel but it it was probably something that would be in somebody's home vintage lamp he's hot got it hung on down from the ceiling it's not connected to power now, if you want to have a whole bunch of uh, awards for yourself, here you go. Pick some up, put on some new uh, little labels on them, little signs. Dressers. Slide projector. Lights. They have, they, he's got all kinds of stuff. 
Here's a piece, Toronto Maple Leafs. NHL jer jacket or jersey or hoodie. I'm not sure exactly what anymore. Here's that small diorama for a circus. And some bar stools. And I think there were a total of four of them. One, two, three. Yep, there's four of them. How often do you find a store mannequin, store display mannequin there? I must say, I have one myself. So it's not that difficult to always get those, but you don't find them in every store, that's for sure. Nice table there. Nice little uh, seat. So you've got a beautiful looking dresser in pretty good condition. It needs a one handle replace from the looks of it. A clock. I don't know if it's vintage or not, but it looks good. Can't remember what these were, but regardless of what they were, they were interesting. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this tour. We'd appreciate it if you gave us a subscribe and a like and maybe even a tinkle of the bell so you know when the next one's coming out. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.